Hi, welcome to Module 12 of PowerPoint 2016. This is Cindy and we're talking about working with media in this particular module. Now we're in Section 1 where we're going to talk about adding video to your presentation. When you add video, your users have a little bit more interest than if you actually had written text on a slide. So using video can be a very effective way to keep your audience interested in your topic. So let me go ahead and flip over and show you how you would add video to your presentation. I'm on slide one and what I'd like to do is go ahead and add a new slide. I'll use a blank layout. Now what I want to do on this blank slide here is I want to go ahead and add a quick little funny video, something to kind of break the ice and get the students introduced to college. I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going all the way to the right under the media grouping and here's our video options. Now when I click on video, I can do this a couple of different ways. I can use the online video option or video from my PC. If you use video from my PC, then you have to have that video already on your computer. It's not connected to the internet, so that file is not linked in any way. A lot of people prefer this because they don't want to get into a presentation and take the chance that the internet's not working and that sort of thing. But we're going to use online video. Now I can insert my video a couple of ways. I can use YouTube or I can insert it from a video embedded code. Now let me show you the YouTube option which is really kind of neat. What I can do is I can type in here whatever I'm looking for and it'll bring up any videos related to that particular subject. So I'm going to hit the enter key and it's just like if I was working out on YouTube. Now let's say that I'm looking through my videos and I like this one. I'll go ahead and choose it and I'll click insert and there's my video. Now I want to make it a little bit larger so I'm going to just size it a little bit. Now if I want to actually watch the video I'm going to double click on it and when you double click what happens is you get the YouTube arrow that you see here and by clicking there that's going to run the video. Welcome to college. You have four semesters to declare your major. Your major is also known as the Good luck! I'll go ahead and stop it there. So now you see how to run your video. Now a couple of things you can do with the actual video itself. Notice that you have a Video Tools Contextual tab and you've got a Format tab and a Playback tab you can pick options from. So first of all, let's look at the video styles. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And it just looks a little nicer that way. Now a couple things you could do over here on the left. Here's where you could preview their video. You can also work with the color corrections if you need it to be a little bit brighter for example or if you need to actually change the colors. Now let me also mention what this poster frame option is for. If you have a particular frame in your video that you would like to be the one that's showing up when the video is not currently running, then you would run the video, pause it at that particular frame and then come in and choose current frame here. Also over on the right here's some options as far as would you like the video to take on the shape of one of your objects. You could actually work at the border of the video and all the effects that we've previously talked about with other objects. Now under the playback tab a couple of things I want to mention here. Here again is a way to preview my video. Do you notice that a lot of these options are grayed out and I can't use them? And that's because if you have an embedded video or one that's linked back to the internet, you can't use these options. The video has to be a straight video that you've got on your computer. Now we'll say this, there are some add-in programs that you can go and download, a couple of them you can download from free. And what they do is they basically what we call rip. They rip out the video and actually allow you to save it as a file on your computer. So just kind of know that. The other thing that you want to just make note of is this start option here. If you want your video to start automatically when you get to this particular slide, you leave it on automatically. Other than that, you can say on click. Now let me just show you real quick, if you were going to put in an embedded video, how you would do that. So just for a moment, I'm going to delete this one. Now I'm going to flip over to YouTube because I've already got the video I want to use queued up. So let me flip over there real quick. 
In YouTube, when you're on the video that you'd like to get the embedded code for, just scroll down until you see the Share option, and then you can click on Embed, which will select the embedded code here. Now just copy it and paste it back over into PowerPoint. Here's where you're going to paste it. You're going to go back to Insert. You're going to go back over to Video option, Online Video, and paste it right here where it says Paste Embedded Code. And then you just hit the Enter key, and it pops your video in there. Now it does take a minute, and when you do it this way, you get this black screen. So this is where you may choose to use the poster frame option that we mentioned. But you'll notice that if you actually run the slideshow down at the bottom, and then go ahead and wait just a minute, there you'll see your arrow that appears, and you can play your video if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Escape here, and that's how that works. What I want to do is now that you know how to put video in, let's go over to Section 2 and talk about adding audio to your presentation as well. Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you need additional Microsoft Office 2016 training, check out our multi-hour training courses for Office 2016. Click the Learn More button on the left, and I'll see you next week with additional videos.